evening. Arguments over whether more flights and passengers should be allowed into Bristol Airport have been heard today at the start of a public inquiry into controversial expansion plans. The airport's owners are appealing last year's local authority decision to reject the idea on grounds that it could add to the climate crisis. Richard Payne has our top story. Protesters dressed as pilots scaled the building hosting the inquiry to make their position clear. Inside Western Supermare Town Hall, three independent inspectors will decide the future direction of the airport by hearing evidence over the next 10 weeks. Outside, opponents claim the airport's motives are purely financially driven. I think we have to think bigger than that. We have to be braver than that and start making difficult decisions, even though they might not be the ones that are most economically expedient. Are you not scared? Seriously, you saw the flooding in Germany last week. Two weeks ago, we had the sea on fire. Are you not scared about genuinely how quickly this is going to escalate? The airport wants to increase passenger capacity by 2 million a year to 12 million, add more than 20,000 flights, some at night, and new destinations, including America and Dubai. The investment, they say, would create thousands of jobs and meet a growing public demand for travel from the region's biggest airport. We absolutely recognise the importance around moving to a lower carbon future, and that's why we're at the forefront. We've reflected, we've listened, and importantly, we've set ourselves an ambitious target as an airport to be net carbon zero in terms of our operations here at Bristol Airport by 2030. Being carbon neutral would not extend to the planes themselves, but advances in aircraft development will make international flight viable into the future, it's claimed. Our plans are absolutely aligned to uh, government policy in terms of making best use of capacity of regional airports, the importance that regional airports have. So in that respect, absolutely, we're confident. It's the right thing to do for our region. But campaigners feel they have the majority of the public on their side. Of 11,000 comments, 84% were against the expansion. Stephen Clark says the appeal by the airport's billionaire owners, the Ontario Teachers' Pension Plan, came as no surprise. For the last six months, he's worked full-time preparing the case for the original decision to be upheld. There's hundreds of people around us supporting us. Um, yes, they are. They're the, um, one of the largest pension funds in the world. Um, they've got the best QCs, the best everything, the best experts and so on. But if it doesn't sound too corny, we think we've got right on our side. And logic. We're not trying to close it down, but we're just saying it's big enough. They've already got room for expansion within their existing planning permission. Post-COVID, campaigners say business passengers will never return to the skies in the same numbers, but embrace new technology instead. The airport will spend the next three months at this inquiry, arguing their success in recent years is the region's success. And for one to grow, so must the other. Richard Payne, ITV News.